Where is college game day going for week number seven? Now, I have piled through the schedule. Obviously, a lot of this uh, will happen based on what happens in week six. We just saw that last week in week five where we thought there was a possibility where they would go to Tuscaloosa if A&M were to beat Mississippi State, et cetera, et cetera. But I did bring up the caveat that if TCU were to upset Oklahoma and if Kansas were to upset Iowa State, that's where they would go, and that is exactly where they went. They went to Lawrence because Kansas State got an outright win as an underdog. TCU got an outright win as an underdog, and that's the way it goes. Uh, I am looking at this. My guess is that USC and Utah will both win their games this weekend against UCLA and Washington State, respectively, and they will make their first trip out west next week, and they will go to Utah for USC at Utah. It'll be their first chance to be able to catch up with Lincoln Riley, uh, to be able to uh, kind of showcase that USC brand. That is what I am imagining is going to happen. Uh, you've also got some other options, though. Next week, pretty big week as far as big games. Penn State at Michigan. Now, that is one that Fox's uh, big noon kickoff will be at. So, something to pay attention to. You've also got, if Tennessee beats LSU, an undefeated matchup. If And, of course, if Alabama beats Texas A&M. Uh, but Alabama at Tennessee. Top 10 undefeated matchup. Big time possibility there. They've already been to Tennessee. So that maybe puts a little bit more... Uh, it, maybe maybe they don't focus on that one as much because they already went to Knoxville a few weeks ago. NC State at Syracuse. Yes, NC State just had the loss to Clemson, but this game is at Syracuse. If I am not mistaken, I don't think college game day has been to Syracuse. Um, and I'll, I'll try and double check that. I hadn't had a lot of time today, but... That's a possibility. I mean, Syracuse will be undefeated. If NC State beats Florida State, uh, if you have some other things happen, some other losses that are unexpected happen, yeah, I don't think it's outside of the realm of possibilities that they end up in Syracuse uh, with a fan base that is pretty fired up. Now, there's more people that are excited about Kansas's run, but Syracuse being undefeated at this point in the season is pretty awesome. And so... Cheers to that. Uh, and then, of course, you've got Oklahoma State and TCU. If TCU beats Kansas and if Oklahoma State wins their game against Texas Tech this weekend, then you could end up with an undefeated top 15, top 10 maybe matchup uh, between TCU and Oklahoma State, and that could be very interesting. So something to pay attention to. Um, looking at the college game day Wikipedia, I don't see... They have been to Syracuse games, but it's always somewhere else. Syracuse has never hosted. They are one of the schools that has not hosted. Uh, it's a possibility. NC State gets a win over Florida State. Yeah. I mean, they'll be in the top 25. Syracuse will be in the top 25. Uh, you get Utah beat this weekend? A very strong possibility they could end up there instead of at Michigan because uh, they're, they're going to have more opportunities for Michigan, if I'm not mistaken. So, And, and not to mention the fact that they – are at Michigan all the time. So why would you continue on with that? Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.